Hey, what's up guys? Or should I say Bat Buddies? Because this video is inspired by Mr. Paul Roberts over at Conscious Counseling RT1. He's been doing a lot of belt videos and do-it-yourself on the cheap videos and um, one of his latest videos really inspired me to show how to do something from nothing, which is something he preaches on his channel a lot. Um, so today I want to show you guys how to make a Batman emblem out of dollar store materials. And it's not going to look cheap, it's going to look the real deal. Um, it all depends on how much work you want to put into it. So here we go. So as I said, this video is inspired by a lot of the stuff that Paul Roberts does over on his channel. I'm going to link him uh, to this video because I told him I was going to be doing this video because he really inspired me. Um, he preaches doing stuff out of nothing. So he makes a lot of belts out of nothing. He makes gauntlets out of stuff. Um, he's shown you guys how to do stuff with just household things, things you find out on the street. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a Batman emblem out of nothing. So, I got a couple examples of some Batman emblems here. I got an 89 emblem. This one is a urethane one. Uh, this is a lineage emblem that actually goes to my 89 lineage cowl that's up there. Uh, so, a lot of makers make these, but a lot of makers are getting in trouble for making these. Um, because this is a trademarked item. A lot of us makers were getting in trouble for making trademark stuff. So, um, in going with the same theme of making something from nothing, I'm going to teach you guys how to make something like this out of nothing. So that you don't get in trouble for buying stuff or selling stuff. You can just make this for your suit and uh, uh, it'll look the part and you'll look awesome and you'll look like Batman. So this one is a urethane one. We're not going to be doing this, okay? And here we have a resin one, so this one's a little bit harder. This is from the new Michael Keaton Batman. Uh, got that cowl right here. This is the latest version of a Michael Keaton cowl. And it's just got a piece of Velcro there. Attaches, and boom, you're Batman. So, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make an emblem out of dollar store materials. So here we go. So total cost for this is less than $10 to make yourself a really awesome Batman emblem. So all you're going to need is you're going to go down to your local dollar store. I am in Canada, so I went to Dollarama. If you have a Dollarama, you'll be able to find all of these materials at Dollarama. So a pair of scissors, paper, everyone has paper around their house, um, super glue, um, craft board. This is the what you're actually going to be making the emblem out of. This is craft board. And it's basically fake wood. It's nice and hard. It's got a nice thickness on it, so it'll make a nice uh, like a perfect thickness for an emblem. A sheet, uh, uh, sorry, a pack of six of these at the dollar store is four dollars. And I still have four left. So and I only used less than one to, sh to make an emblem. Um, but I've made a couple emblems, which is why I only have four left. But craft board, that is actually what we're going to be making the emblem out of. This will actually be your emblem. No need for um, molding or casting or anything. Um, I believe I went over it. And Velcro. So I got this Velcro from Walmart, but you can get Velcro at the dollar store for really cheap. You don't need this much Velcro. I use this a lot for um, masks that I make, um, so I got the big roll from Walmart, but you can get the smaller package for like a dollar at the dollar store. Um, the only thing that uh, this budget does not account for is a Dremel. So you will need a Dremel or you will need something to be able to cut with. I did not get the Dremel at the dollar store, so if you know someone with a Dremel or if you have a Dremel. Um, you'll need your Dremel and these two bits. You'll need the cutter bit and you'll need the sander bit. And that's it. That's all you need to make this. It's, it's that easy. All right, so you're going to start by drawing your design. So I got a couple different designs here and you can see the one that I cut out for the demonstration today. So I got this Batman Beyond style emblem and I've got the original um, 1939 
looking Batman emblem because I wasn't sure which one I was going to do. But because this video is inspired by Paul, I decided to do the 66 version. So I have cut out the 66 emblem out of paper. You can see there. It's a little bit different because I went, I cut it round, but there's the 66 emblem, just made of paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your craft board, you're going to lay this down on the craft board, and you are going to, of course I lost my pencil, okay, well get a pencil, trace it, trace it onto the craft board. I didn't say you needed a pencil, but everyone has a pencil, so you're going to need a pencil. Trace it out of the craft board. Now you've got your bat. And now this works for any emblem. You can do Robin, you can do Superman, you can do whatever you want with this stuff. So I traced my bat emblem. Now you're going to need your oval. So I have the luxury of having emblems that I can just trace the oval, um, but you can just draw a half semicircle fold it open just like you would do this so I only drew half the bat so you draw your half semicircle cut it out then fold it open and boom you have your oval so on your one sheet of craft board you will now have your bat and your oval you will then take this outside cut out the shapes around so if my bat is right there I want to put it as close to there as possible. I'm going to use the cutter bit to cut this out just like that so that I'm only working with this part. And the same thing with the oval. You'll just cut the oval out. And then you switch to your sander bit. And then you'll just sand your edges nice and smooth. This stuff sands like paper. It is super easy. It sands like nothing. It leaves a bit of a mess, which is why I said go outside. But believe me, this stuff, like this, this just eats through this like nothing. And you can get really nice shapes out of it. So your finished result, uh, once you um, have all this cut out and everything, will look something like this. So I have this mounted because this is an emblem that I created for a upcoming project. This is a cowl that I also am working on that I designed. So this is actually the emblem master for this, and it was made the exact same way as doing this. The only thing that you won't be doing is molding. So I molded it because I'm going to make one out of resin for myself. You don't need to do this. You can if you want. If you want to make a couple of different variations, um, it's, easy to, it's easy to do. You can find mold making stuff online. So I did mold it not necessary and I got a resin copy like this which will go on my cowl that I've designed for myself but you don't need to make a resin copy you don't need to make a mold all you need to do is have this so once you cut everything out you're gonna paint it um, so here's a segment of painting but you guys watch Paul Roberts so obviously you guys know how to paint but here we go insert the painting montage So we have our oval painted, 
can see the back isn't painted, but you can tell that this is just the, the board. Okay, so we've got our oval painted. The reason I went over it a couple times is because I was trying to get that nice mustard yellow that uh, a lot of the cowls that you see up there have. Um, and then the 89 one here, it's got this kind of like mustard yellow color. I was trying to get close to that. So, but you can color this whatever you want. You're making your own emblem. You don't have to copy mine, you can make your own. So here we go, we have our oval painted. We have our bat painted. I've got dog hair on my fingers. Don't do that. Now what we're gonna do is we're just going to super glue the bat onto the oval. All right, so you don't need a lot, but I recommend just putting it on the bat. Just put it at the corners, make sure the corners are nice and secure. And then just run a little bit of super glue on there. Now this, I did this pretty rushed because you can do this entire thing in about an hour, which is nice. Cause then you're not wasting your time. You can do this whole thing in an hour and you can have a really nice quality Batman emblem for your suit. So you can see, I got my glue on there. I'm gonna try and find in the center. So that looks good to me. I'm just gonna give it a press for a few seconds without putting too much pressure on this. I don't want to take the glue off. And again, this might not stick in this video because I did this really fast for you guys, but if you allow the paint to dry fully, um, you'll have a way better bond. Now the next step is optional. You can clear coat this to really seal that in. I'm not going to do that because this is just for demonstration. But you could clear coat this all to make it one nice uniform color. Uh, sorry, uh, one nice uniform um, in there. But here we have our bat that is inspired by uh, Adam West. So ignore the dog hair in there because like I just, I got like four dogs and we have more dogs around the property. So I got this nice like glistening color on the bat and I got the nice mustard yellow. So it's not exactly Adam West because Adam West was very bright, but we went with kind of a muted Keaton looking mustard yellow with a nice sparkly bat. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut yourself a little piece of Velcro. Uh, whatever the opposite is that's on your cowl. So. You can see that on this cowl, we have the toothy side pointing out. So I'm gonna cut the soft side pointing towards the toothy side. So I've already gone ahead and done that. And I got this nice piece. I'd, I like to contour my pieces uh, so that they like fit right in there real nice. You don't have to do that. You can just throw some Velcro on there. It's your project. So this is a sticky back. I'm just gonna take the sticky back off. Get my super glue. Again, just putting my super glue on my piece. And then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to place, whoops, missed the middle of it there. There we go. I'm gonna place my Velcro and press it down. Because we're on a flat surface. And then just press that down. There we go. And there we go. We're done. We have this urethane emblem that you can buy secretly or make yourself. We're not going to talk about this, but this is what most makers offer. Trademarked. You don't want to stay away from that. Boom. 
made for my own suit. Uh, didn't sell it, didn't have to pay for it. Well, you have to pay for it, materials, but less than 10 bucks. I have a really nice Batman emblem that is just as hard as a resin copy. This is a casting of something made exactly like this. So you can see the thickness of that and you can see the thickness of this resin one here. Exact same, exact same. And this is about the thickness of an emblem. So I'll hold this one next to another one. Look at that. Boom, almost identical. Now th these are resin castings, but this resin casting was taken off of this master that I created that was made the exact same way as this. I made one of these and decided to cast it because I wanted a resin casting. If you would like to mold your newly created emblem and get a resin copy, that's totally up to you. You know, dealer's choice. But you don't have to do this. I decided to do this. You can just end with this. This is all you need. And you can color it however you want. Now, one thing I noticed about this particular um, board, this craft board here, is that some paints, uh, like it doesn't like some paints. So I recommend going over it with primer first. I didn't do that. I rushed this for the video. But if you hit this with a coat of primer first, a really good primer, and then then paint it, you'll have a way better um, bond. And uh, then you can clear coat this or give it whatever finish you want. You can weather it, do whatever you want. So let's try it on a cowl. Giving it plenty of time to dry, let's just throw on a cowl. Boom. We got custom fit, custom emblem. It made exactly the same way as most of these. Some, most of these start out as 3D prints and you sand them and you weather them and you do whatever you want to do with them and then you cast them and you have a nice resin piece. This method skips all of that because you're just doing it for yourself. You're not planning on making a million of these and selling them because that's bad. We don't do that. Um, these already exist. There's film versions of these. So, like, if you want to make one for yourself, go right ahead. But if you want something that's, like, custom that isn't out there, which is why I did this. This is an original design. This doesn't exist. I created this. I wanted this. So I made it for myself. This exists, but not like this, so I created it myself for this demonstration. We got an Adam West on the Keaton Mustard Yellow Oval that is custom fit to a Keaton Batman cowl. If you don't like that look, pick a different look. I didn't put the Velcro on this one, but boom, we got a different, different emblem. And boom, we got a different emblem. Boom, we got a different emblem. There's so many different ways of making emblems. And this is a really cheap way of doing it. It's nice and hard, it's nice and sturdy, just like a resin emblem. They're practically the same size. They're practically the same width. And you spent less than $10, provided you had a Dremel. If you don't have a Dremel, you're going to spend a little bit more. If you do have a Dremel, you spent less than $10 to get a really quality Batman emblem that you can custom fit to all your different cowls, all your different costumes. It doesn't have to be Batman. You can do a Robin one and mount it to your suit. You can do a Superman one, whatever you want. For the sake of this video, we did Batman because we're the Bat Buddies. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Really, really quick. This video was inspired by Paul Roberts. 
So he does a lot of belt stuff, gauntlet stuff, teaching you guys how to make stuff from nothing. So I decided that I was going to teach you guys how to make something from nothing as well. For less than $10, you can have a really nice Batman emblem that is the same thickness, the same hardness, um, practically the same quality as one that you can buy from individuals or buy online or whatever. This costs you $10. Something like this might run you $40 plus shipping. You don't want to spend $40 plus shipping. You also don't want to get in trouble for selling or buying this stuff because it's a trademarked item. You don't want to get in trouble for this. So you know how you stay out of trouble? You do it yourself. This cost me $10. And I have a new emblem for my suit. Boom. All right, guys. That's going to do it for the video. Thank you, Paul, for inspiring me to uh, come out of my uh, YouTube hiatus to show the Bat Buddies something cool. You really inspired me. Um, stay tuned, guys. I got some cool stuff coming. I am working on a really nice custom piece. This nice Keaton cowl that I designed that I want for myself. And I wanted a nice custom Keaton inspired emblem that I created myself to go right on there. So this is going to be my personal piece. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, stay creative, and I'll see you next time.